iOS 26 is worse than we thought. It's causing a ton of thermal issues like overheating, battery drain, screen unresponsiveness, and even freezing on our iPhones. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what you can do to fix those issues. How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and we all know this could happen. It's so common that after a major software update, we get issues on our devices that actually affect a lot our experience. But the problem is, iOS 26 is proving to be way more problematic than we all anticipated, even the most pessimistic anticipated, simply because those problems aren't going away after the first few days. I actually made a video about this, about iOS 26 problems and issues and battery drain and so on, and we all hoped that after a few days, it would go away because it's always been like that. After a major software update, you have so many background activity that those things are common. But the thing with iOS 26 is they're not going away. We're past a week after the release of iOS 26 and they're still here. A lot of people are still having the very same issues and they're not going away. If you grab your iPhone and go to settings and then go to battery, and then let it load for a second, scroll down and go to view all battery usage, we have this famous graph right here, which shows us our battery usage. So it's gonna be always constantly like going down after you charge it, it's completely normal. But the thing is with iOS 26 is that this incline is way steeper than normal, meaning that our battery is going so fast, it's draining just like the drain on your shower, for example. That's the analogy. So this is so, so common. And unfortunately, I can't really tell you how steep it has to be or not in order to be configured as battery drain or not, because it depends a ton on your usage and your device itself. But most iPhone users in iOS 26 are definitely feeling that it's just going faster than usual. And of course, this is just one of the very common issues of iOS 26. We also have overheating, thermal issues. So iPhone getting hot, especially here on the back, sometimes while doing nothing, like no activity whatsoever, you feel your iPhone is hot. On top of that, we have the interface issues, like screen unresponsiveness, for example. So sometimes your iPhone just won't respond as it should. It feels like it's not sensitive, like you're moving around, scrolling and touching, and sometimes like it's like the touch won't pick up. And of course, it's, there's nothing wrong with your hardware, it's actually the software, and also, freezing. Sometimes this gets so bad that your iPhone freezes completely. So it stays like that. You tap, you touch, you scroll, you move around, you press on the buttons, nothing happens. It stays like that. And I'm seeing those issues more specifically in iOS 26 when we compare to previous versions of iOS, like it's way more common here. And I believe it's because of the many, many different changes in interface. We have a new design in iOS 26, and we're just seeing that things are still adapting, let's call it that. So it has this feeling almost as if iOS 26 just isn't ready enough. Even though we had three months of betas, it just feels like it's not ready. Let me give you an example. It happened today, right before the recording of this video, and then I pretty much had a combo of all of those issues and bugs at the same time. So I was using my iPhone as I would. It was exactly on this screen, on the very first homepage, and then it just froze completely. So I would move around, tap and touch and scroll and like absolutely nothing would happen. I press on the buttons and nothing. And then in just a few seconds, I started feeling the back of my iPhone getting warm and then it became pretty warm and then it started to become hot and then it was really, really fast and I never experienced this before on an iPhone. And on top of that, I saw my percentage here go down two points just like that in a few seconds, maybe a minute. So then I had the full combo. If you are in a situation like that where your iPhone is buggy, frozen, if, if it is really getting hot or any of those issues or other issues that are happening in iOS 26 as well, there is a quick fix for that. So all you have to do really is go ahead and press 
and let go the volume up, press and let go volume down, press and hold your side button. And then as you can see, you're gonna see this page right here with this light to power off. Maybe depending on the issue you have, it won't even show up, but no problem. Keep holding the side button as I'm doing right here. Keep holding and then when you see the Apple logo, you can let go. This will absolutely always work. Even if the screen is frozen, volume up, let go, volume down, let go, press and hold the side button and then keep holding. The screen will turn black, it always will, and then you see the Apple logo and the iPhone will restart. We're just restarting the iPhone. So there's no data loss, no problem at all, just starting off and turning back on. So this will help you a ton in a critical scenario like that, where you have an issue, you need to fix it, sometimes you are on the go, this will always work and always fix any problem that's going on right now. But of course, this won't fix the source, the root of the problem. It will help you out in a critical scenario, it's super important, but it won't fix the problem itself. In order to do that, we pretty much have two choices. Number one, wait for iOS 26.0.1. We're still waiting. Uh, by now, like the beginning of this week, we were already hoping to see iOS 26.0.1 but then Apple didn't release it. So it's been over a week after the release of iOS 26.0 and nothing, we don't see 0.0.1. So we're expecting to see this iOS update probably next week. So then there are still a few days to go with this buggy version of iOS. And of course, maybe it will take even longer. So that's why knowing how to force restart is very important. But if you are in a very complicated, delicate situation, maybe your iPhone is really bad. It's almost unusable in iOS 26. Well, you have your final resort. You have the final fix of this situation. And that is reinstall iOS. If you want to do that, all you have to do is open up your settings and then go to general, as you can see, and then scroll all the way down and go to transfer or reset your iPhone and then erase all content and settings. Uh, so when you do that, you're pretty much clearing your iPhone. You are resetting your iPhone completely. You're going to lose all of your data. This is going to really like erase everything. And then of course, you'll be able to reinstall iOS 26, a fresh install. So when you updated your iPhone, when you were, for example, in iOS 18.5 or iOS 18.6, and you updated to iOS 26, it wasn't a clean install. You didn't lose your data. You just had your files, you updated, and they're still there. With this process, you're gonna erase everything and then reinstall iOS with a clean iPhone, of course. I don't want you to lose your data, so you need to back up your iPhone before you do this. So you back it up, reset, and then recover the backup. And this is a great opportunity to actually fix at least some of the issues, maybe not all, but at least some of the issues. If you don't know how to do this process of backup, reset, reinstall, and so on, I do recommend that you check out this video right here. I have a link in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. Again, this is not guaranteed. I can tell you that it will absolutely work for you because it's complicated. When you have something like this, when you have an iPhone, for example, we have software and hardware, iOS 26, an iPhone 16 Pro Max, for example, and they talk to each other, they, they, they connect to each other. So sometimes the first time you did it, you had a bad experience. That's why you have a buggy uh, experience in iOS 26. But then when you reinstall, sometimes this connection, let's call it that, is better. Even though you have the exact same phone, but you are reinstalling, you're doing a clean install. So maybe this time you will have better luck. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you this report on how iOS 26 is overall. Um, it's bad for many people, it's not just you. And of course, how to fix and a few solutions and possibilities and options you can have, all right? So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next videos here, guys. Bye-bye.